Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Hallelujah. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's Hallelujah. Let's lift our hands and appreciate him. Let's worship God, the most high. Let's worship him, the most high God, who has made it possible for us to be here this evening. It is one thing to fix a program, it's another thing for God to allow you. Amen. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of Lord, blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name. Blessed be thy name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name.
Every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. There is no name <laughs> in heaven or not that can compare, that can challenge the name Jesus. At the mention of that name, Jesus, every name. covenant. There is no covenant that supersedes the covenant of blood. That is why the highest covenant is the blood of man. But there is a covenant that is above the covenant of the blood of man. That's the blood of Jesus. The covenant of the blood of Jesus. And we are here tonight to partake in that covenant. To renew. To renew. To renew. In every organization, you have to renew your membership. So each time we take the Holy Communion, we are renewing our membership in the kingdom of God. So we are here tonight to be renewed. God said to Moses, gather the people together and I will give them water. Tonight, 
we don't have the water but we have the blood of the lamb which is more than water even in the in the in the in the physical within humankind we say blood is thicker than water then god gave them water but tonight god has given us the blood 2000 years ago we are here tonight to renew to rejuvenate our covenant our sense of belonging let's appreciate him father we worship you tonight blessed be your name lord in jesus mighty name we worship please lift your hands and say i receive my portion in the kingdom of heaven by the blood of jesus christ amen hallelujah we can have our seat jesus christ said to us that as often as we do this we'll be remembering him so we have come here again to remember our lord and savior amen let's give him a round of applause let's give him a round of applause the lord jesus deserves all accolade it deserves all accolade bible says clap the hands all you people shout to the lord with the voice of triumph because god is terrible amen the terrible one is here tonight amen i want you to say something to him before we go to the next phase in the program from your heart say something to your father is your father say something to him maybe for in less than one minute say something to your father father i thank you for making me part of your body I lord we love you we praise you we worship we you, you lord. we give you glory we give you honor we love you, lord. you are worthy to be praised we you are you, worthy, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we you are you, so Lord. wonderful. You are so marvelous. We love you, Lord. You are the great I am. You're the lily of the valley. You're the bright and morning star. You are all in all. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we confess. With the heart we believe unto righteousness, and with our mouth we confess unto salvation. Amen. Um, we're going to welcome Mommy Lola to lead us in. The prayer the opening prayer was supposed to be before the praise and worship well let's follow as we're going father in the name of jesus amen father in the name of jesus amen father in the name that's above every other name lord we thank you we glorify you we magnify your name because you are good because your mercies endure it forever we thank you for the grace of life. And we thank you for the grace that you have accorded each and every one of us to be able to come on this throne of mercy tonight, to seek your face and to partake of the Holy Communion. You gave us your word like your son said, to do this in remembrance of you. When we take the bread, we are eating your flesh. And when we take the wine, we are drinking your blood. And we pray that every infirmities in our life, in the lives of our loved ones, oh Lord, as we take this Holy Communion tonight, Father Jehovah, touch us as never before. And heal us totally and completely of all our infirmities. Jehovah, let us not come in vain. Let us not seek you in vain. And we surrender everything that we shall be doing, O oh Lord God. The singing by, by your generals, the word of God by, by your son, Pastor Makivet. Everything that we shall do, let it be directed by thee. And please, God, let us enjoy your presence. Let your presence fill this hour of service for us. 
and let us never re return the same way we have come. You said in your word that nobody comes to you and go back empty handed. As we have come, meet each and every one of us at the point of all our needs. And I take this opportunity to join my faith with all the, your elects and redeemed children of God on this platform right now. And we plead, O oh Lord, for the world at large. We say, O oh Lord, be merciful unto the world and fulfill your covenant to us in 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14, that heal the land, heal the whole nations of the world. Heal, heal the nations of this pandemic and steal the coronavirus and kill every 5G poison in the air. And let the world enjoy your peace. Let us enjoy your peace in our time. We surrender to you, O Lord. Take charge and take control from the beginning to the end. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Okay, can we have can we have our sister to do some songs for us? Um, sister Stella Unta. Good evening. Good evening, ma. Good evening. Wonderful to see everyone this evening. Yeah. Like I said last time, I I really love hymns, so that's what I'm going to do tonight. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, loud and clear. We can hear you loud and clear. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for these words. Thank you, Lord, for the people that wrote these songs. And thank you for the message in these songs. In Jesus' name. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners plunged beneath that flood blues all the guilty stains blues all the guilty stains blues all the guilty stains and sinners plunged beneath that flood blues all Guilty stains, the dying thief rejoice to see that fountain in his day, in his day, and there may I, though vanity, wash all my sins away. Wash My sins away, my sins away, and there may I, though vanity, wash all my sins away. I do believe, I will believe. That Jesus died for me, Jesus died for me, that on the cross he shed his blood from sin to set me free, from sin, from sin to set me free. From sin to set me, to set me free, that on that cross Jesus shed his blood. From sin to set me free, dear dying lamb, thy precious blood shall never lose. Never lose its part till all the ransom charge of God be to sin no more. Be to 
another one oh hallelujah thank you lord sorry do we have time for another one um St steve I've, I've left you to run i've left you to run the service you just go as okay so this one i'll just nobody, look up nobody, nobody's in a hurry to get home because everybody is home okay, okay I'll, I'll just do a, a few verses then what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious, oh, precious is the blood. That makes me what I saw. No other fountain I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my cleansing, this I see. Nothing but the blood of Jesus, oh my pardon, this might be nothing but the blood of Jesus, oh precious, oh precious is the blood that makes me white as snow. Mother, don't I know nothing but the blood of Jesus? Now, by this side of nothing but the blood of Jesus. Now, by this, I'll reach my Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious, oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other found I know. Nothing but the blood. Hallelujah. Apology. <laughs> We're going to be dancing unto the Most High God again. Um, if you can stand up and dance, but this one is dancing. Let's give him <laughs> our best. Amen. If you need to reposition your camera, please reposition it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you, Sister Stella. It's so nice to see you. 
Uh, that song was so powerful. I was just meditating on it as you were singing. There's nothing but the blood of Jesus. That's the only thing that can wash us clean from our sins. Amen. Yes. That is the only thing that can set us free, that can heal Amen. us. Amen. Power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. We cannot overemphasize calling the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we give God the glory. We thank God. I so much appreciate you, my dear sister. God bless yeah. you. That was a lovely one. <laughs> thank it's you. It's nice to hear your voice. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. So we give you thanks and appreciate the most high God. Every living soul. Every great part. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Amen. Um, I'm going to also be welcoming to the microphone Prophetess Oluye Misi Adekotujo. She will also be doing some songs. Prophetess, the mic is yours. Mm. Amen, people of God. Amen. God is good. All the time, the Lord is good. 
Uh, we are going to sing some praises to our almighty God to appreciate him for everything that he has done for us, especially for dying on the cross. So I'm going to start my song and I want you to dance, clap, do everything to praise him for what he has done in our life. So I'm going to start from praising the Lord always. Praising the Lord always. Praising the Lord with all my heart. Praising the Lord with all my heart always. Praising the Lord. My Lord is good. Ah, my Lord is good. He's good to me. Jehovah, Jehovah is good. Jehovah is good. Jehovah is good. He's good to me. You are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. Almighty God, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God. God is good all the time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Pastor Steve, your voice is very low. We can't hear you. Hallelujah. Uh, oh, that's better. That's Apology, better. Ma. Apology, <laughs> ma. <laughs> Apology, ma. Thank you very much, ma. Our God is good. Amen. And that is why he sent his only begotten son to come and shed his blood for us. Yes. The Bible says in the book of Abu that we have not come to the mountain that the early fathers came to where they had the sound of the blast and they never wanted to go back there. They, they said, Moses, you go. Anything God tells you, come and tell us. We don't want to come there because what they saw was terrific. But we have come to Mount Zion, heavenly Jerusalem. Here, you don't have to be afraid because Jesus Christ has broken the wall of partition by his covenant, the covenant of his blood, the new covenant. So it is different from the covenant they had then. Where 
operating in a new covenant the covenant that does not cast us away from the presence of god so they say we have come to the we have come to mount zion the heavenly jerusalem the city of god himself and we have come to the innumerable company of angels there are so many that you cannot number them you don't need to see them you just need to know even if you don't know that they are here they are here whether you believe it or not they are here so we have come to innumerable company of angels and then we have come to the place where the spirit of the righteous ones are made perfect we are not perfect in our ways no matter how we love god we still have because we still live in flesh we still have that tendency to 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 make mistakes but once we come to his presence our spirit our souls are made perfect not by our work but by what he has laid down already by the new covenant so we have come to that place where our souls are made perfect and we have come to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel so that is what we have come to to do remembrance of tonight remember he said to us as often as we do this we remember him so we have come to remember that a blood was shed that speaks better things than Abel a blood was shed so that we the righteous our souls will be made perfect no matter our shortcomings this does not this does not give us any leeway to go and be misbehaving out there and say okay anytime i come they will make me perfect no but you and i know no matter how we try because we are still here we are still here we still need that constant perfection by his blood and that is what we have come to encounter tonight let's give him a round of applause thank you very much ma. thank you very much ma. thank you very much ma. we are going to listen to a short word on supporting the ministry the ministry that has brought us together tonight to partake in the body and the blood of christ we're going to be hearing some word of encouragement on how we can support them in the things that the lord has committed to them to do in the visions they are running so i'm going to welcome to the microphone minister Tokpe Olufowobi. please unmute and then let's listen to what you have to tell us about the ministry Is talk about the ministry is going to be taken by Mrs. Tela Hunter. Update on the ministry of full gospel evangelism by the secretary, Mrs. Tela Hunter. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ma. Uh, I really thank God for the ministry, uh, full gospel evangelism. I met Pastor McKivitt many years ago and um, we've been working together for some time. Right from a long time ago, I've always known Pastor McKeever to be somebody who is full of the word, somebody who likes to divide the word, somebody who likes to teach the word. And we thank God for even this time, uh, we are going through COVID, but we thank God that we have this opportunity to be able to meet together, for us to be able to fellowship together with him and with others in the ministry. So we, we've been talking with Pastor McGivet about what we can do uh, for his ministry to become more widely available. Many years ago, Pastor McGivet used to send out uh, a magazine every week uh, that used to go, it used to be printed and it used to go around, he used to post it out and people used to use it for Bible study and all of that. But so we've been talking about how can we make uh, his sermons and his teaching more widely available. Uh, the, we've been doing the radio ministry for many years and that broadcasts. But um, now that there's an opportunity for Pastor McKivitt to actually step out and start to share the word uh, more widely, we're praying that uh, the, the word will be available even via uh, television broadcast. 
And therefore, we are just praying that God will make that possible, that God will open the door for that to happen, and that God will continue to bless him and anoint him for, it, for him to be able to continue to teach the word. Uh, we've also been talking about the possibility of transcribing a lot of his sermons that he has uh, preached in over, over many years, he has preached so many sermons. So we've been talking about the possibility of those sermons being transcribed. And then maybe we can put them according to themes and make uh, those sermons available as books so that uh, we'll be able to have books available on specific topics and for us to really benefit from his teaching. So that, that is where I believe the ministry is going. And I think God is taking us to a place where uh, we want to equip more people to be able to, to learn and to be grounded and to be taught of the, of the Lord. Pastor Makivet, is there anything else? Let's all thank you. <laughs> I could, I'm, I'm using my laptop and I'm struggling to hear what's being said on here because the speakers are not that loud. But I can just about catch what you're saying. But thanks a lot. I think mean, I mean that covers everything. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you very much, Ma. So that's a, um, an update on the ministry, the full gospel evangelism. And the person who has given us the update is Mrs. Stella Hunter. Thank you very much. We are now going to listen to short testimony by Minister Tokwe Olufowobi. Short testimony by the treasurer Tokwe Olufowobi. Thank you, Ma. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I think I have to show my face. Okay. Uh, I don't really know where to, to start from, but I will just say that I've been involved with the ministry for so many years now. Very long time ago with uh, Pastor McEvite and um, and his wife, I call her mom, and um, and uh, through the ministry, a lot of things have happened. I know my children, they grew up knowing uh, Pastor McEvite and uh, Mama Sheila, and uh, they know sometimes when they have issues, they call Pastor, he pray for them, and then they get result. And uh, like uh, Sister Hunter said earlier on, I was involved years ago in the providing Pastor's write-off that he used to send out every week. And over the years, uh, I don't think uh, Pastor have said anything out for some time now. And my prayer is, I spoke with him yesterday. My prayer is uh, that uh, aspect of the ministry will, will kick off again. And uh, we have young, uh, young people now, uh, my daughter and some of the other girls that they've known Pastor for over the year and they're in their, uh, they study media in university. And I said to Pastor yesterday, is a testimony that they grew up knowing Pastor McEvite and the ministry. And I speak with them that it's time for them to start uh, their own contribution as well. And I pray that God will, will minister to them for them to come, full, to come on board uh, fully to help the ministry to go to the next uh, level. And uh, one other thing is, I've been, the, I've been doing the ministry account for so many years. And I know when it comes to finance, Pastor McEvert and Sister she, uh, Mama Sheila, they contributed all their lot into the ministry. And yesterday when Pastor were talking that the ministry needs money and uh, for the first time, I just felt in my heart that yes, this is our time to contribute to so a lot into the ministry. And I pray that God in the mercy will help us so that everybody will contribute more to take the ministry to another, uh, a higher level. 
uh, years ago, pastor minister in Nigeria. And uh, after that, I had a lot of friends that pastor in Nigeria calling me, oh, can pastor come to Nigeria? Can he come to Nigeria? So a lot of people that have had these messages and they know that he is a true man of God and he's, he's, he preached the word of God. He do, he's not someone that will preach with sweet words, you know, like to cajole people, things like that. He preached the correct word of God. And I said to pastor, and pastor said, look, if there's any way that uh, he can contribute to them in Nigeria, he's always willing to, to contribute. And I pray as he continue in this journey that God will continue to empower him and that Lord God Almighty will give him long life. And they will all, uh, at the end of the whole thing, when the time comes that every one of us will be rapturable, that no, nobody will be left behind in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much, man. Please, wh 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 wherever you are, I want us to appreciate ourselves. Let's give a round of applause to ourselves. Let's give a round of applause to ourselves, please. Clap for yourself wherever you are. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have Pastor Esther in the house? Pastor Esther, can you in the house? Do we have Pastor Esther? Can you in the house? I don't think Pastor Esther is here. If you want, if you, if if somebody has got a song they want to sing, they're welcome to. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Mrs. Taylor, can I bring you once again? Mrs. Taylor, on tag, can I bring you one more time to give us one or two choral songs? Okay, thank you. Oh, that, that's fine. If you just give me a second. We thank God. God is good. Hallelujah. All the time, all the time. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. We thank God for his loving kindness towards us. We thank God for his goodness. We thank God for his faithfulness. He's always such a wonderful daddy to us, always looking after us, always taking care of us. And I just want to take this opportunity to say that I love you, my Jesus. You know, God deserves all the adoration. He deserves all the praise. Hallelujah. Brother Steve, I'm ready. Thank you, ma. My Jesus, I love thee. I know thou art mine. For thee, all the pleasures of sin I resign. My precious Redeemer, my Savior, art thou, if ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now. I love thee because thou hast first loved me and purchased my pardon when nailed to the tree. I love thee wearing the thorns on thy brow. If ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now. I'll love thee in death. I will love thee in life and praise thee as long as 
Thou lendest me breath, and say, should the death do like hold on my brow, if ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now in mansions of glory and endless delight I'll ever adore thee in heaven so bright I'll sing with the glittering crown on my brow if ever I love thee my Jesus tis Yes, Lord, we just want to say we love you. We love you, Lord, for everything that you have done for us. Thank you, Lord, for wearing that crown of thorns on your brow, Lord. Thank you for purchasing us and pardoning us when you were nailed to the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We love you. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you very much, Ma. Please let us appreciate that. Let us appreciate that. Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you very much, Ma. And thank you, sir, for always supporting her. We appreciate you. Thank you very much, sir. So now we're going to be um, going into the reason why we have come tonight. We're going to be having the Holy Communion. But before then, Pastor Makivet is going to admonish us. Thank you very much, sir. Over to you, sir. Amen. Greetings. I thank you for everything that everybody's done. I felt that there's a tremendous anointing that has been on the meeting today from every single person, from Steve to Buffetes, MSC, Stella Hunter, and all the prayers. And thank you, and even for those for coming. I pray that every one of you will be wonderfully blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's good, to see, it's good to see every one of you here today. It's been a bit hard because normally I'd be in my studio and um, I've been enjoying the songs, but I've been struggling to hear them because this laptop, this laptop, this sound is not very good. And normally I'd have it a bit louder and I can join and I can enjoy and enjoy it. Uh, I wish I'd, I forgot to bring my speakers to plug into the laptop. Otherwise, it would have been better. So I've been kind of been a bit distracted. Well, that's God's, God's will be done. Okay, I'm going to go straight in to share a short word of God. Short word from the, i say that again. I'm going to bring a short message from the word of God. And it is going to be short today. And um, please interrupt me if I lose sound or I lose vision. Because I want, I want you to hear what I'm saying and um, also see my good-looking face. So we're going to go straight into the Word of God now. And I'm going to, I'm going, there's a verse of scripture that is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 24 to 26. Can somebody read it for me? 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 24 to 26. Okay, I've got it now. Because when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take it. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance for me. And after the same manner, he took the cup. And when he had supped, say, this cup, the, this is the cup of the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. We want to take a look at briefly, why do... 
we take the Lord's Supper. Why do we take the Lord's Supper? Every church, with a few exceptions, such as like the Salvation Army, don't take the, they don't take the communion service. But, but most churches do, in one form or another, take the communion service. And it's got different names. It's called the communion service. It's called the breaking of bread service. It's called Holy Communion. It's called Eucharist. And it's, it's got various names. Some take it once a month. Some take it every four months. Uh, a lot of churches take it once a week. The Jehovah Witness take it. The Jehovah Witness take it once a year. Only those that are members of the 144,000 can take the communion service. But I want to give you five reasons why we take the communion service. One, five reasons why. I'm not going to. I'm not going to read it. I'll turn to it. But make a note of the scripture. Exodus 20, Exodus 12, 21, 27. We, Exodus 12, 21 to 27. I'm not going to read it. It is talking about the first real Passover. Every other Passover was in remembrance of this Passover. It was when the children of Israel were in Egypt. And God was going to send the final plague upon the land. And he told them to get the blood on the doorpost and stay in the house. Don't go, don't go out, stay under the blood. And he said, when I see the blood, I will pass over. When the destroying angel came to destroy the firstborn of the Egyptians, he said, when I see the blood, I will pass over. Notice he never said, when I see that you are Israelites, when I see that you are circumcised. He said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Friends, you can call yourself a Christian. You can call yourself Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal, Lutheran, but that won't save you. Are you under the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ? It's not what church you are in, it's who you are in. Are you in Christ? Are you washed under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ? He said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. The blood was the means of our salvation. It was a protection from the destroying angel. I believe the blood of Jesus Christ is our protector. It protects us from all the attacks of the enemy, but it's the means of our deliverance. The blood of the Lamb was the means of Israel's deliverance from Egypt. Thank God, the, the blood of Jesus is our deliverance from sin. It is our deliverance from hell. It is a deliverance from bondage. Yes, it protects us, but it also delivers us. It's not what church you are in that's going to be your deliverance. It's not what man you follow. It's the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I said it was only one Passover. Every other Passover that took place was a remembrance of when they were in Egypt. In, in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 20, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 20, talking about the various feasts, it says, When thy son asked thee in time to come, saying, What mean the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments which the Lord our God have commanded you? He said, then thou shalt say unto thy son, we were Pharaoh's bondmen in Egypt, and the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand, and the Lord showed signs and wonders, great and sore, upon, the, upon Egypt, upon Pharaoh, and upon the household, before the eyes. Now he said, when you see these things, and your son asks why, now why do we take the communion service? Because when we take the communion service, we remember, at one time, we were dead in trespasses and sins. We were on our way to a lost eternity. We cannot earn our salvation. We cannot earn it. But thank God, Jesus left his home in glory, came down to earth, tempted like we are tempted. And he went on the cross and paid the price for our sins. And he died in our place. And when we take 
communion service. We look back at that time and remember that we are saved by the precious blood. We are saved by what Jesus did. Hallelujah. It's a reminder. It's a reminder. I won't go into all the ten, all the things related to this because I could talk about Leviticus chapter one, verse one, where the when they came when they brought the sacrifice, man would lay his hands on the sacrifice, and the high priest would lay his hands on that lamb, and that was the soldier, that lamb was going to die for the sinner. In the old testament, there was no such thing as a human sacrifice. But in Isaiah chapter 53, it talks about a human sacrifice. It says, surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. He was acquainted with grief. He was led as a lamb, as he, was, he was led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before his shearers is done. Isaiah was prophesying that there would be a human sacrifice. A man would come, and he would save away that poor afflicted lamb. Took the sins. This man would take the sin of the world. This man would bear our iniquity. And nobody knew who that lamb was. Even the Jews today, they got a different interpretation of what Isaiah chapter 53 is talking about. I won't say what they take, what they're what they're saying, because that would take time. But they've got a different interpretation of Isaiah chapter 53. They say it's talking about the Jews being persecuted. But no one knew who it was. But one day, John the Baptist, baptizing by the River Jordan, he saw Jesus coming towards him. And all of a sudden, God opened the mind of John the Baptist, who that lamb was. And he said, behold, the lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. The communion service is a symbolical reminder that Jesus bore our sickness as well as our sins in numbers 24 verses 4 onwards number 24 it, it tells us that when the children of israel rebelled against the lord they murmured against they murmured against god because of what they were going through and god sent serpents to fight and they were dying same as you and i were bitten by sin and were dying in sin and Moses went before the Lord and said, what must we do? And God, in Numbers 24, 21, verse 8 and 9, he says, the Lord said unto Moses, make thee a fiery serpent and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass, every one that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. And Moses made the servant of brass and put it on a pole. And it came to pass that if the serpent had bitten any man when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. In other words, they had sinned, they had murmured, they had rebelled against God, and God told Moses, take a piece of serpent, hold it on a pole, and the gospel message went, went out. You don't have to die. You can just come to that pole, look at that brazen serpent, and you shall live. You can't earn your salvation. You're not going to be saved because you're a Jew, but if you come that pole and look upon that great serpent, you will live. And much later, Jesus, having a discourse with Nicodemus, referred to that and said, Even as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. The same message, the only way the children of Israel could survive their sin after being bitten by a serpent was to come and look. On the place and so and you and I that have been bitten by sin, the only way that we can be saved is to come to the old rugged cross, is to put our trust in him and look to him. Hallelujah. He said, If I be lifted up, lifted up on the cross, I will draw all men unto me. Also, the communion service is not only a reminder of what of what Jesus did. But it's a reminder of what's going to happen in the future. It's a looking back on Jesus on the cross, but it's looking forward to it. For we, for we read, for we, we get, for we get uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 34. 
he broke the bread and said, take, this is my body, which is broken. This is a remembrance of me. And after the same manner, he took the cup. And when he had sucked, saying, this is the cup of the New Testament in my blood, this do as often as you drink in remembrance of me. No, it's remembrance, but it's remembrance of what happened. It's a reminder that Jesus is coming again. Or in verse 26, it says, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. Till he comes. So the communion service is a reminder of the shed blood on Calvary, but it's also a reminder that he's coming again. If we were in a communion service in church, we, I would be passing the wine to people. I'd be passing, maybe in little containers. But one day, Jesus is going to pass the communion service. One day, he will be giving it in, in, in heaven. But we pray, it's a reminder, we are born again, regenerated because of the cross. But it's a reminder that one day, as it says in First Thessalonians, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. We have a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall arise first, that we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds and meet the Lord in the air. So shall be with the Lord. And look what Jesus said. You know, I said to you a little while ago that Jesus is going to give us that wine one day. But I need to give you a verse of scripture for that. In Luke 22, verses 17 to 18, Luke 17, Luke 22, 17 to 18, for he took the cup and gave thanks and said, take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink off the fruit of the vine until the kingdom shall come. In that kingdom, he will participate. And we, around the marriage supper, will partake of the greatest communion service ever was. Thank God he's coming again. Yes, he came the first time to pay the price for our sins. And we remember that in the communion service. But he's coming again. We remind ourselves of that in the communion service. So because he's coming again, we ought to live holy. We ought to live righteous. We ought to be going out into all the world and preaching the gospel to every creature. Oh friends, there's so much I can there's so much I can say, but I want to keep it very short today. And I just want to say today, there is healing in the blood. By his stripes we are healed. There is deliverance in the blood. The children of Israel were delivered when from Egypt when the blood was applied. And today in the communion service, it can be your day for healing, your day for deliverance your day for victory, your day for peace, because there is healing in the blood. And what we take today, this is what we are taking today is not blood, it's not liquid blood. In a, we do not teach transubstantiation. What we take today represents the blood of Jesus, represents the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I break this bread in a few minutes. This is not Jesus. Jesus is not a loaf of bread. Jesus only died once. But we take it and it is and we take it as symbolical of the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. And when we drink the wine, we're not drinking blood. It ain't gonna taste like blood, it won't smell like blood, but it's a reminder of the blood of Jesus shed on the cross two thousand years ago. And as the blood of deliverance. From the, from the from the Egypt, but from okay, again as the blood brought deliverance to the children of Israel from the bondage of Egypt, the blood today sets you free from every demonic attack, from every bondage that you are facing. Today is the day of victory. Today is the day of deliverance. Today is the day of victory. And I remember Stella Unter once singing that song singing that song one day, I don't know if she got it with her, maybe she can sing it today. The blood that Jesus shed for me, way back on Calvary, 
has never lost its power. It reaches to the highest heaven, flows to the lowest valley. The blood, that all oh, glory, hallelujah. Praise be to God. That blood has never lost its power. It's going to bring healing. It's going to bring deliverance to you today. Hallelujah. 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 What have you got? We're going, I'm going to a very short message. I don't want to get go no further. And you've got, I, I hope every one of you have got your bread and you've got your wine, whatever it may be, communion wine or grape juice, whatever you are using, I've got mine and you've got yours. I'm going to ask you to take the bread now. Take the bread now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Um, I'm glad to see my good friend here, Elder George Hilton, who's over here from England. Praise God. George Hilton, can you can you give a word of thanksgiving? As we, before we take the bread, can you give a word of thanksgiving for the body of Jesus that was shed for us 2,000 years ago? Bless the Lord. Thank you, Pastor McKivitch. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We're people of faith who trust in the merits of the blood. Wonderful Lord, precious Jesus, we thank you for this another day thank in you. which you have afforded us, Lord, to follow your holy word, the example mm. that you set before us with your disciples. Mm. When you served them the night before your crucifixion, mm. you served them from the supper, which we now call the Lord's Supper. You gave the communion and said, this represent my body, which is broken for you. Mm. And this is my blood, which is shed for you. And today, Lord, we are continuing that. And you said, as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. We bless your name. We thank you for everyone that is gathered here tonight to participate and to partake of the blood, what represents the blood of Jesus Christ and, the, and your broken body that was broken at Calvary through which redemption has been brought to humanity. Mm -hmm. We thank you for Pastor McKivitt, who is administering this tonight to the rest of us. Bless each of us, O oh God, we pray. We honor mm -hmm. you. We bless you. We are blessed to be called the children of God. Mm -hmm. It is the blood that connects us to one another and to you tonight. And mm -hmm. for this, we say thank you, Lord. We bless your name and we honor you tonight. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen and amen. Can we all take and eat together? And as we do, focus on the Lord. Bless the name, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for dying Jesus. in my place. Thank you for bearing no stripes. Thank you, Lord, for taking the spear in your side. Thank you, Lord, for dying in my place, for our place. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Can I just, as we take the blood, as we take this wine, that is symbolical of the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Can I ask if Prophetess Yem Yemesi is still here, could you just give thanks for the precious blood? Mm. Father, Lord, we thank you again mm -hmm. for the great sacrifice, for the blood that you shed on the Calvary. Father, we pray that this blood will continue to save us, will continue to guide us, will continue to be upon us mm -hmm. now and forevermore. Thank mm -hmm. you, Father, for being our God and our Savior. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Mm -hmm. Amen. And as we take the blood, Believe God for your healing. Believe God for your deliverance. Believe God for your miracle. Take and drink now. Thank 
praise us. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Let's just take time to thank God, just to thank Him and appreciate that precious blood. Thank you, Jesus. You can picture it in your mind, Jesus on the cross, shedding His blood for you, bearing the pain, suffering like no man. Many people died on the cross, but no one suffered like Jesus because everyone else that went on the cross, they died for themselves, but Jesus bore the iniquity of the world. Every sickness and every disease, every sin was laid upon him. Nobody mm. suffered like Jesus. Mm. Praise God. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Stella, do you, do you know that? Can you remember the words of that song? The blood has never lost its power. Maybe you can sing it. Maybe you can sing it for us now. Mm. The blood that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary. Oh, the blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never lose its power cause it reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley oh the blood that gives me strength from day to Praise God. Can we just lift our hands and just praise God? And I, as I hand back over now to Steve, Steve De Rock and his wonderful wife. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Praise ye the Lord. I don't know the way I feel right now, but I just, you know, <laughs> the love of God is just so much on me tonight. I feel so much loved by, by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Just begin to imagine the pain he went through just because of you and I. Nobody can ever love us like he does. Nobody can ever care for us like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Lord that will live the 99 and come after just me. Oh my God, I appreciate you. Father, we thank you. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross. For dying to set us free. Thank you, Jesus. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He gave he gave out of love he gave out of love Jesus Christ chose to come and die for us so that we might have life Father we thank you thank you Jesus hallelujah oh Lord we give you glory hallelujah there is no one like Jesus no one like him hallelujah. I just want us to appreciate God Let's give God Adonai. Let's give him praise. Let's appreciate him. His word. Even if we praise God from now till eternity, it's not enough. The love of God for us is just too much. Thank you, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we worship. Hallelujah. We bless you. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Who is there like thee, O God? Thank you, Jesus. There is no one like you, Thank you Father. Jesus. There is no God like you, Adonai. Lord, I love the way you love me. Hallelujah. I love the way you father me, Lord. Hallelujah. I love the way you love me because nobody can ever love me like you do. I appreciate God. Give him glory. He's awesome. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
and he will never be made. Amen. Let's appreciate him. Let's appreciate him as I hand over to Pastor Makivet for whatever we need to know before we have the closing prayer. Thank you, sir. Well, I've got Matt. I've said everything I need to say about the communion service. It just remains to for me to say thank you. Good to see Pastor George Hilton. He's over here for um, the reason. Let me tell you about George Hilton. He's the relation of the of the of the woman whose mother led me to the Lord in 1974. So um, I think I think I think George is his nephew. I think it's a nephew. And um, so um, yes, yes, Pastor McKay, uh the lady who led you to the Lord is the mother of my auntie, my mother's sister. That's so, right, yeah. That's my auntie, yes, thank you. <laughs> Amen, it was Evangelist Daly, who was the mother that led me to the Lord in 1974, and her daughter, who we've had wonderful fellowship, she went to be with the Lord uh, just, before, just before Christmas. Yes. And um, we, 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 had, we buried her, thank God, it, it was raining all week, from the day of the funeral, no rain. We had a try. So God was God was really good. So thank God that he's it. I know he's going back to the United States. Yeah, a couple of weeks time. So it's good to be here. And um, I know I'm giving special appreciation to him. I equally not showing no favoritism. I appreciate every single person. Grace, Philip, team me. Let me just let me just go on to the um, uh, onto the view so I can see Olua, Penny. My, my treasurer, Toby, um, Peter Piper, um, Mavis, Pastor Lola, um, Prophet Jesia Messi, and of course, Steve DeRock, you've done a wonderful job today. We really do appreciate the way Amen. that you've this service. God's anointing has really been on your life as it has always been on your life. And thank you for all for joining us. Remember, on Thursday, we're having our Bible study and we're still continuing our subject on pneumatology. And this week, we're going to talk about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So please join us, get a pen and paper ready. It's a Bible study, but come expect an anointing because wherever God's word is taught or preached, something is going to happen. Lives are going to be transformed. Forms. Otherwise, I wouldn't waste my time doing it. So, praise God. Um, I'm going to hand back to Steve, call someone to say the closing prayer, and then maybe we can all unmute ourselves and say the grace together. Hello, Steve, did you hear me? Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, can we have um, Mama Mavis to give us what? prayer? What? Mm -hmm. She's asking uh, uh, Mavis to, to give us the closing prayer if she's there. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father Lord, we give you thanks, we worship, and we exalt your holy name for an hour like this that we have come into your presence. Father, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor for everyone that has joined us for this service. Lord, Amen. we didn't bring God's by an accident, you gathered us for a reason. And that reason, Lord, that's the reason we are saying thank you, Jesus. We give you thanks. We give you our adoration. Lord, we, give you for, we thank you for sustaining us throughout this program. Father, let your name be exalted. Father, we yeah. have drank your blood and we have drank you, and we have eaten the flesh of your blood of your dear Jesus Christ. Father, we pray, Almighty Jehovah, that as we go ahead this week, let this week, O oh Lord, be a blessing unto us. Father, we shall yeah. never know any reproach and we will not know any sorrow. There will not be any agony, O oh Lord, because we carry on on, on the 
on the surface of our forehead the blood of the Lamb Jesus. Father Lord, Amen. even inside our body, Lord, we have drank it this night and we have eaten that flesh, oh Lord. Every tissue, every system, anything that is not functioning well in our system, Lord, we pray, Lord, that they begin to function well by the reason yes. of anointing that we have gotten from this prayer meeting this night. Father, let your name be glorified, oh Lord. May you Amen. give us the strength, oh Lord, to continue with this fellowship. In Amen. Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 A round of applause to the Most High God. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Ma. So, um, as a pastor said, can we all unmute and then we share the grace in fellowship? No, we're sharing the grace. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Thank you, Ma. The grace. May the grace of the Lord, our Lord, Jesus. Our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the Holy Spirit, for us now and abide with us now and forever. Amen. God, we shall bless the Lord all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Just lift your hands and say seven, eight, seven hallelujah. 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 Now raise it. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. All the time. Amen. God bless you all to a meet again. Have a wonderful yes. week. Amen. God bless you. Yes. Thank you. Amen. Grace, God bless you, my long time, man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>